my two o'clock. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me get my phone gone. Let me get my phone gone. I have two different. Um, you want this one? Okay. <clears throat> Obviously. 
obviously born in 1560 to a rich family, you know, and her family were like crazy, okay, girl, like, they were fucking, like, the problem, like, this is why, like, I'm not trying to make an excuse, but dad, it's common sense when you grow up in a family that treats people like shit and tortures them, you're gonna have a fixation for torture, some people, some people turn out to be good and try to, to like, you know, get out of that situation, so, So you're lighter than me. Like, so I'm gonna do 112. This might be still dark for you, but like we can always do the neck. We can we can do it. If you're not that far from this color, I can see. So hold on real quick, let me get this lid back. This is the Fit Me, Fit Me, Matte and Boreless, 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 You have such, like, amazing, um, literally, like, skin texture, so, just to let you know. So, I don't really have to use that much, because, like, I, I pretty much, like, covered up all the like with the green name the redness so okay anyways it's so loud outside like i'm literally like screaming i feel like i'm screaming girl like am i screaming okay uh, it's so it's windy out there okay we're having a windstorm rainstorm shit storm like it all like it's just i'm like thank god like you made it safe here that would have been crazy. Oh, that's that other page. Okay, let me get rid of this one. Okay. So. Okay, so. So this is like white, white, like super white. Okay. And then I just like, let's do the concealer. No, actually, since we set your eyes. Okay, let me tell you a little bit more. And then we'll do your eyelash. Did you pick out a color? Perfect. <clears throat> All right. So let's talk about our family a little bit. So, Bathory's, like Elizabeth, her father was a Baron and George. I don't know what, I don't know which one that is. I think it's six, actually. I think it's George Bathory six. Okay, I'm guessing. Her mother wait, was Barnet Baroness. I can't say that correctly if I'm saying it wrong. Anna Bathory. Um, she was, so as a child, <clears throat> Elizabeth had multiple seizures that may have been caused by epilepsy. Uh, <clears throat> so for treatments to help her, they would rub blood of a non-sufferer on the lips, meaning 
someone that does have epilepsy. Um, she grew up in a family who trained her to be cruel. Like, they literally, like, they, like, just, just let it happen. She was bilingual, meaning she can speak multiple languages. She knew Latin, Germ German, and Greek, and Hungarian languages. Mathery was a very privileged, meaning she was rich and didn't have no clue in the world. Just was sitting on money, doesn't know much, just clueless to the world, just doing what she wants. She's rich. She doesn't have to do anything important, to be honest. Like, she's good. She doesn't have to go to college, nothing. She's privileged. She's got it. Um, with wealth and education and prominent social rank. So she was like, they were like top tier people. Like, they were like looked up upon, you know? They thought everybody was peasants and servants to them. Like, anybody they could hire, they will hire as a servant. Um, at the age of 13, before her first marriage, she allegedly gave birth to a child. The child's father was a peasant. The boy, I, I know, like a peasant, like, who says that? The boy was given, like, she had a boy, supposedly. The baby was, or no, just kidding, it, wait, it doesn't say, never mind. The child was given to a trusted local woman, so, like, she didn't get to keep her child. They were like, nope, it's gonna go to a local woman. Uh, okay, let's do, okay, let's see. Which one did you choose? So you want this one? Okay, perf, 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 perf. Oh, I thought I had my chapstick in my pocket. Like, I have dry lips. Okay, so, took forever. So, you know what? Actually, we're gonna do the base first. Say, count, okay. It wasn't in a rain. 
or her fiance, I'll just say fiance, it was in an arranged marriage, but like he wasn't really into it as much, but she was like all for it. The couple move into a his castle, like not hers, his, <clears throat> at the Safar. Um, he ended up becoming chief of commander of the Hargarian troops, so he was gone a lot. Um, and the war and led the war against Ottoman Ottomans. They ended up having eight children within like him going out of war and stuff. He was still busting a nut. Okay. He was still getting he was still busting a nut. Um that this is why I put not for children on my YouTube videos because I tend to cuss a lot. So yeah. <laughs> Her husband died on January 4th, 1604, age of four. So, like, he died only at 48 years old. That's young. His death is unknown. They were married 29 years. That's amazing. Um, I also want to emphasize I did a little bit more about her when she was a child. Um, okay, so like to cure her epilepsy, like the family would take blood from the servants and put it on her lips. And this is thought to be why she became obsessed with blood. Back then, there was no laws to protect servants from being tortured so they could do whatever the fuck they wanted. If you're working for me, I'm gonna fuck you up. Not literally, I would never do that, but that's what they're thinking. Her family contributed to her asceticism, so meaning, like, they were the ones that created this evil little girl because they were doing evil stuff as well. They were horrible people. Um, her family contri- oh, never mind. One story is that- okay, this is one of the stories. <clears throat> One story is that she witnessed a man being sewn, literally a man being sewn into a horse's stomach for theft, he theft, and then she laughed, she laughed it off, she thought that was, she thought that was so funny, like she had no care, she did not give a shit, she thought that that was so funny. She was literally sick in the fucking head. Uh, found 
foundation a little bit. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know where the page is at. I might have, I might have lost it, actually. But, um, she got pregnant like during like when her husband was still alive like I know I told you guys he died but we're still talking about him <clears throat> so when her husband found out that she got pregnant by a peasant in his house he literally castrated the man like meaning like you no longer have a dick and balls most or no longer a dick um, or no balls one of the two <laughs> Oh, it sucks so bad. Um, the man and had like wild dogs go at him, so that was fun. Like that must have been super nice. Um, the only time I've actually seen that happen was in a movie, which is fake, but it looks real because it's a movie. But like, um, did Django, like Django, that movie with like Leonardo DiCaprio and you know the amazing. Fuck, what's his fucking name right? Why oh, the fuck? Oh, I forget his name right now. I like just knew it, and I was about to say it. And the Jamie Fox. I love him, anyways, and he's so hot. Don't even get me wrong. Um. <clears throat> anyways, so like there was like a servant guy that got dogs leashed out on him. So I know what that would be like. It's pretty torture. You're sitting there screaming. You're sitting there in pain. You're scared. You're being attacked by dogs. Honestly, if someone had dogs attack on me, I'm literally fighting till I can't. Like, I'm literally gonna punch these dogs the fuck out. <laughs> like, and I know that probably wouldn't work. Especially if it's wolves, you know? Or coyotes, a pack of coyotes. Anyways, so her husband instructed her to strip the servants naked, cover them in honey, and let the bugs eat at them. Like, he's done pretty sadistic shit. So he's like a two-faced. I'm going to tell you why. <clears throat> All right, girl, let's do a little bit more concealer. And then let's get some black eyeliner in there on your eyes. Guy or 
G. Thurso. It's a Greek name, I'm pretty sure, but I cannot say it correctly. Um, I can show you, like, if you're a Greek and you know what this says, definitely. Because I know someone who is Greek that actually spoke Greek to me on the comments. I know. Love you. Um, who eventually led an investigation into Bathory's crimes. So he did this before he died. Citizens were frightened of Elizabeth, like, terrified. Her family behead, like, headed the local government. Like, okay, like, meaning they can control the, like, the news articles. So when her family was still alive, they were able to keep her dirty little secret for her, you know, like, when her dad and mom were still alive, they were able to, like, help protect her, make sure she doesn't get on the news and shit. Not the news, but, like, whatever the fuck they had back then. <laughs> So, th that means that her crimes were being ignored until 1610. That's when they took action. It took, th well, it was when her husband died too. That's when the investigation started. So, it took him six years, four years to grow some balls um, to get enough evidence. It took 35 years and 650 girls and women's lives before they took action. Um, even then, her pu her punishment was not as bad. Like, she had a great punishment. She was already doing what the fuck her punishment was for. Um, so it wasn't as cruel as what she did to these young girls, let me tell you. What doesn't make sense is that her husband enjoyed killing before they got married. She became, she become, oh, that's what that was. Oh, that's what I was supposed to read first. Okay, well, I already read this. She became pregnant and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Thurzo started an investigation on her husband. Like, once on, because of her husband, I meant. Thurzo, Thurzo started an investigation once her husband gave him a tip. And had hundreds of people willing to testify. During trial, once she got caught, she was still having servant girls coming to work for her to turn around and be guilt. Girl, do you hear this shit? Like, meaning she was still going through the court systems and still making sure she stays young. Um, supposedly, these poor girls were mutilated, starved, froze bodies were found inside her castle. She was, they were like tons of torture chambers, by the way. She used knives, razors, and wax to torture, to get blood out. Um, I know this is disturbing. She would also bite pieces of flesh off their skin. Townspeople would see the tortured girls who would ran, who would run errands for them, having burn marks. F the faces were f like fucking disfigured and shit, mutilated, looking horrible. One girl came running out with a knife still in her foot. She said, "Fuck it, I'm leaving." And so, okay, so this is what happens. Okay, so before the king died, he showed no compassion or care for peasants ever in his life until it was only when the girl, the noble girls started disappearing. So he doesn't care if it's peasants, servants, he doesn't give a shit. But when it becomes noble girls, he's like, oh, I, I gotta take action. So before he died, he like let this investigator know everything um, that he demanded Thurzo to look into it because he knew his wife. One day, Thurzo showed up to Bathory's castle with armed guards. Thurzo found a dead body of a young girl and two others injured. That's so fucked up. Elizabeth was arrested and she was put on house arrest. She's already, she never leaves her house. She has servants do it all. Like, this is nothing. This is not even a punishment. <clears throat> uh, okay, because they didn't worry 
or what does that say? Okay, because they didn't want to cause panic to the community, so they didn't want to like have a startle in the community, so they locked her up in her house instead. She pled innocent at trial, and all servants testified. Like all, the, not the servants um, that were going through trial, but the servants that worked for her that have been mutilated, tortured, that are still alive and stuff, or just worked for them and they saw what happened. Um, one of the servants provided a list in Bathory's handwriting of all 650 young victims. So she literally had a book of her victims in a book. The servants who helped her get victims. The servants who helped her get victims were burned or beheaded. Elizabeth did not face a harsh death. Instead, she was diagnosed criminally insane. After trials conducted, she was found guilty and had to stay in solitary confinement in her castle for the rest of her life. The citizens of Hungary did not speak of Bathory's name for hundreds of years. Conspiracy theories argue that Bathory was actually innocent. They think that the king brought these charges against her because he did not like that she was a, a prostestant, I don't know what that means, and a powerful woman. Few years later, she died August 22nd, 1614. She died like 10, four years within confinement. Isn't that crazy, girl? Like, this story was just like... listen like it's just sad because it's like we don't know any of the names of those young girls um it was obviously true because like you know like what from what the townspeople said and stuff but i do believe that her husband did not care what she did i think he was just mad because she was just like doing all this shit without his help because because i'm just I'm a feminist, so I'm just saying this, but men like it when women, like, want them. They want them to feel like they need to take care of the household. They love that. They love feeling like the man. They love feeling like they wanted to provide, take shelter, and take care of. That is a, just a man's instinct right then and there, okay? So, like, that's probably how he was, and so, like, obviously, he was probably jealous that she was just, like, better than him, like, acted better than him, killed a bunch of people, like, he, he killed people too, like, he's not innocent, he's not innocent at all, so yeah, but I hope you enjoyed your makeup, let me take this off of you real quick, your hair looks amazing too, by the way, I am so glad you came, and if you ever need me to do your nails or makeup again, just let me know. Right, there I am. And drive safely because it's super windy out.